Evaluate functions using the TI-83. Example, given the following function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 2, we want to find f of negative 5, f of 0, and f of 2. Here's the analytic solution. We will take our function f of x, which is equal to x squared minus 2, and in order to find f of negative 5, we'll simply replace x with negative 5. So for our function, we have x squared minus 2, replacing negative 5 with x. We have negative 5 quantity squared minus 2 for a result of 23. Likewise, to find f of 0, we'll once again return to our main f of x function and we'll replace 0 with x. So we have 0 quantity squared minus 2 for a result of negative 2. And lastly, to find f of 2, once again, we'll go back to our f of x function and we will replace x with 2 for a result of positive 2. Now let's take a look at the calculator solution. We will use the stow feature on the calculator, which is on our first column, located here, and we'll let the calculator substitute in the values. To use the stow feature, simply enter the value, then press stow, choose your variable, and then press enter. Next, enter the function and press enter to evaluate. So let's take a look at how it works. To find f of negative 5, I'm going to take my value of negative 5. I'm going to store that for x. I'm going to lock that in by hitting enter. Once we've stored our value for x, next we'll go back to our function, which is x squared minus 2, and we'll enter that in, x squared minus 2. We hit enter for a result of 23. Next, we'll find f of 0. So I'll take the value 0. We'll store that for x. I'll hit enter to lock it in. I'll then go back and enter my original function, which is x squared minus 2 for a result of negative 2. And lastly, f of 2. I'll take the value 2. I'll store it for x. I'll hit enter to lock it in. And then I'll go back and put in my function, which is x squared minus 2 for a result of positive 2.